Thank you. Thank you very much. So, how many of you are on the march screaming your voices out? <laughs> so were we. It was awesome. It was really, really fun. We were hanging out with some very spunky um, and appropriately clad women. Maybe you've seen them. Maybe you've heard about them. They, um, they have single-handedly, they've done a lot of important things. They go and disrupt every a meeting and hearing that they can. And in fact, we just came back from Palestine and from Israel. It was a very intense trip. And I felt so warmed and like so happy when we were watching the news, CNN International, and there was some dude giving a, a testimony. And I saw a little pink uh, sign that said, impeach them, <laughs> which they couldn't get out of the... Um, of the uh, TV, TV screen, so it was really awesome. So they've done all those important things, but what I think is really incredible is that they've gotten activist women to wear pink. <laughs> it's kind of astounding, actually. So this is a song we wrote for them a number of years ago now, their first national rally in Washington, D.C., and your part is, do you remember those terror alert codes? Oh, what a, what a bunch of malarkey. Well, as Cindy would say, that's bullcrap. Because she's running for office and she can't say bullshit anymore. <laughs> so, your part in the song, A, stay cold red, we stay cold pink. <laughs> Oh, hey. Will they sing on pain? 